What is going on guys? Today we are bringing back the Rat Rod Wagon, which is our Rat Rod inspired go-kart basically that we built from scratch using basically only a radio flyer tub. We haven't touched that thing in probably close to two years. Has it been that long? It's It's been a while. All right, there are some changes I'd like to do to it. Yes. Oh wow, look at that chain. Wow, it ain't gonna crank. It's still got some fuel in there. No way, <laughs> dude. So the engine still runs, which is a huge surprise, but our plans for it today include making it look better and making it drive better. So one thing we're gonna be changing for sure is the grill we put on it. The grill came off of a 36 Chevrolet and I feel like it was a good thought, but maybe the execution wasn't perfect. Uh, and maybe my tastes have changed since then because I used to think it looked kind of cool, but now it's gotta go. Since we have a little bit of problems with steering, maybe if we put a little bit bigger tire on the front and a little bit smaller tire on the back, of course we could keep the front wheels because they were originally, the, those are the wheels that came with the wagon. Wagon wheels, yep. So I honestly like forgot how the brakes worked on here. It looks like we have a jack shaft yep. going through this throttle pipe, which is ingenious in itself. Thank you. And then, yeah, we got a drum brake on there. And they work really good. And they too. work. Yeah, this thing isn't bad at all. I was thinking we'd come back and be like, Hur. but it's pretty sound. All right, so for all you grill lovers, let's take a moment of silence to say goodbye to the grill. It looks completely different. All right, so in order to revamp our rat rod wagon, make it look better and make it drive better, we're gonna be using some parts from gopowersports.com. We're gonna be using these brushed aluminum, five inch wide, six inch diameter racing wheels, and we especially asked for these turf tires. And those are gonna replace the rear wheels. Uh, these are a little bit skinnier than the ones we have on there right now. So that's gonna help our steering situation. They are a little bit taller, which is gonna make the clutch work even harder than it is right now. So we might be doing some gearing in the future. We also have this chain guard here. It's meant for a mini bike, but we are going to adapt it for the rat rod wagon. And finally, to quiet down our Briggs five horsepower Briggs so we can putt around a car show, we have this RLV muffler. Now, the diameter is a little bit smaller than the one we usually use, so I'm gonna link it down below in the description along with the other parts that we are using in this project today. There's one. chain guard comes off. Since the tub is more permanent and the guard is more not permanent, I was figuring out, trying to figure out, am I gonna cut the tub or this? And I think we're gonna cut this. Yeah, that's right. A little bit more, but. That looks pretty much there. We decided that if we ever need to service the sprocket here, it would be a lot easier if we just bolted this chain guard on rather than welding it. So I just drilled a hole in the uh, chain guard there, and we already had an existing hole in the uh, tub. in the tub right there. So I'm just going to bolt it on in that one spot, and then we can figure out where we're going to mount like a back piece if we want to cover the rest of the chain. This first rear wheel is on and tightened. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. I like how the tread, like both are treaded now, and I like how it's skinny, right? I don't know, when I think of a rat rod, I don't think of fat rear tires. I think of skinny rear tires. So we have the chain guard to finish and we have the other wheel to take off, drill for new lug pattern, and then uh, put the new wheel on. So how about you work on the chain guard, I'll work on the wheel. A little swoop. Yeah. 
Yeah. Sounds good to me. This chain guard isn't incredibly stout, but I mean, this thing will do 25, 30 miles an hour max. I mean, it's not a speed demon. I think it'll work for us if we just go out for a ride and... It's it's not the guard's fault, it's the mounting. Oh, right. We're mounting that guard on... on Two little places. Cool. need to loop the chains. Yeah, we do. Chunky. Yeah, we also have a lot of comments and questions from you guys like, where did you get that magic box? That's what we named it because it's, I mean, it's magic. Look at it. It takes a spinning shaft this way and spits it out this other way, so. We found this piece at a local farm supply store. I don't think there was a part number on it and I don't remember how much it costs, but you can probably find one at your local farm supply store. And there was no information about like how much power it can take either, so. For all we know, we're dancing with, with the devil here. How far do you think we? Do you want to put it on short and stubby? Do you want to extend it out some? Uh, I say like there. I kind of like stubbier better. Easy. One pull. <laughs> the brakes work. That thing is perfect. That thing is so fast. Survey says 33.3. .3. No way. Dude, that's what it says, man. Oh my God. This thing's a speed demon. All right. So uh, one of the final things we're gonna be doing today is changing the oil on this guy. Whew. Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty bad, dude. Have we ever changed oil on that thing? Um, like I thought we did. I'm gonna be a little embarrassed if we didn't. That is getting full fast. Another thing we're going to do real quick is lube up the uh, pull starter. See that like machine screw or wood screw? The Phillips screw on the coil? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't us, was it? <laughs> no. I've never had this cover off. Oh, true. What did I break? You know we gotta put this on the cars and cameras. Dude, yeah, that's, I mean, the, the yard is too wet right now. It's been raining nonstop for like three days. Yeah. Cause so like that channel gets wet. So we can't do the whole thing, but. Why not? Cause we're gonna tear up the yard as soon as we go through that groove. Here, let, let's let's go look at it. We'll All go right, look we'll at go it. look at it. But, dude, I think it's gonna be fast. Yeah. Honestly, dude, so... I think we can do it. I go first, then you go. Okay. Just one lap a piece. Uh, whenever we do that, someone always gets mad because they mess up. 
You mean you get mad. Are <laughs> <laughs> you Mark? Get fit. Go. Faster, but I like I, dude. I saw both front wheels lose the group. They the were ground. off the ground. You did a wheelie, dude. I know. <laughs> and yeah, my pants tire <laughs> <Your shirt>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Guess your time. 35:14. That's got to be fast. I don't remember anything else. That's that's definitely faster than my five-speed race car. Yeah, I mean we're we're running treaded tires. Yeah. So that's our advantage. Yeah. Honey, Mark. Get set. Go. feel too good about that one you all right yeah that tire man yeah it really eats your pants doesn't yeah it? uh 38 37 22 okay do you want to go again no nah. okay no i don't <laughs> was it wasn't fun did you see the front wheels come up off the ground no i didn't i was looking through this and i okay. I, I couldn't tell just looking at this the glare's right. bad though i'm not going to go any harder than what i did because i'm eating my pants yeah this tire is yeah uh, this thing's a pretty awesome out there. Yeah. If if I had uh, some sort of a brace to yeah. keep me uh, centered, yeah, yeah. I, I could feel really I could feel pretty good going out there and just running her as hard as I could. Mm -hmm. I come out of it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But man, this thing's awesome, dude. It yeah, it it rips, dude. <laughs> It's not the slowest thing out here. No, it's one of the faster things out here. Nah, this thing's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I think she's ready for the power tour. Yeah, man. I think it is too. It's pretty good, man. I mean, did you forget how awesome it was? I did. I mean, you can't lie. You probably did too a little bit. Nah, it's always been my favorite. <laughs> Still my favorite. So the wagon is done. We made it safer with the chain guard. We made it handle better with the skinnier rear tires. We made it look better by taking the grill off and it performs pretty well scorching 3514 around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. Anyway, let us know what you want to see us do further with the wagon. I think it'd be fun to build a Briggs & Stratton five horse engine. Oh, I'm down. Yeah, um, but we need to find parts because they're kind of rare these days. I'm fine with just a big old lumpy cam and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'd be okay with just a lumpy cam because I mean, the way it performs now is kind of perfect. I think any faster and the steering would really start to show its sketchiness. We gotta thank our sponsor, gopowersports.com. Use the discount code CC10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order and help support us as well. Let us know in the comments what other projects you wanna see us bring back. This one was a ton of fun. And smash the thumbs up uh, button if you enjoyed this video today. Anyway, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. Yeah, rat ride a wagon. Uh, cars dash cameras for our stickers and t-shirts. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time Oh, I'm thinking bonus video because we need to go get Ike's uh, truck ready for power tour Which is in two days. So I'm thinking of a bonus video for that one. So probably tomorrow Not sure when keep an eye out for, keep an eye out for us getting Ike's 66 truck ready for power tour. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time